Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Iza Zafira and I will present FFT filters. Filtering is a process of selecting frequency components from a signal. Origin offers an FFT filter which is meant by fast Fourier transform filter that performs filtering by using Fourier transform to analyze the frequency components in the input. There are five types of filter available in the FFT filter function, which is low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop, and threshold. Low pass filters block all frequency components above the cut of frequency, which allow only the low frequency components to pass. For the high pass filters, they are just the opposite and block frequency component that are below the cut of frequency. Bandpass filters only allow frequencies within a specific range determined by the lower and upper cut of frequencies to pass the filter. For the band stop filter, it removes all frequencies within the chosen range, and for the threshold filter, it removes frequencies whose amplitudes are below specific threshold value. Assalamualaikum, my name is Ezri Izazham bin Samsudin and I will explain about infinite impulse response, FIR. FIR filter have same time delay for all frequencies, line, phase, relatively insensitive to quantization and are always stable. FIR filter can be designed in different ways, for example, Window method, frequency sampling method, weight list square method, minimax method, and equilibrium method. From spectrogram at first coding FFT, two visible yellow lines are shown as being indicated as noise signal. The first line is located in range 2 kHz until 2.5 kHz, while the second are located at 3.7 kHz until 4 kHz. To remove the unwanted noise, Blackman Bandstock Filter method is used in the second coding. Blackman method is categorized as one of the FIR filters. Firstly, FC1 and FC2, lower and upper corner of noise frequency is declared. The cut-off frequency and the Nyquist frequency is also declared in the coding. Also, the essential equation of Blackman window logarithm and equation were included for filtering the chosen frequency range. Finally, the spectrogram was declared for the final result of the complete filter audio by these two filters and hence the filter audio will be played. Hence, the result shown are the filter audio spectrogram and the magnitude of the following audio to prove that these filters were successfully coded. In addition, from the spectrogram obtained, both two visible yellow lines converted to blue lines and this is evident that the audio are being filtered. By listening to the filter audio, you can hear the noisy buzzing sound is reduced at its limit. Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Nurul Ain Azlan and I'm going to share you my screen. See briefly on how to filter the corrupted audio. I'm going to use the FFT method and the FIR method. From the FFT method, you just insert the audio and run the coding and you will obtain this type of spectrogram. The spectrogram shows uh, two bandpass filter right here which is represents noise that ranging from 2000 to 2500 and 3600 to 4200 hertz. So you can hear the original audio. And then the audio is being filtered by using the FIR method. I'm inserting both bandpass value just now. And after you run, you will obtain this type of spectrogram, which is the two bandpass filter has already been filtered. And you can hear the audio after it's being filtered. And 
that's all from me. Thank you.